Over the weekend, Orchid Academy's Spartatronics Robotics team kicked off its 2024 season with a regional competition in Ventura, but during the event, students were shocked to find out their equipment trailer had been stolen. I'm Jacob Dizon, your community reporter in Orchid, where now the team is asking for your help to make up for what was lost. This is our build room. This is where we keep like all our manufacturing equipment and where we build basically every single part of our robot. Our goal is to help prepare students for STEM careers for their future. On Friday, I went to Orchid Academy to meet the team where mentor Rick Soto brought me up to speed on the situation. Once we had offloaded all of our equipment at the venue, we uh, parked the trailer at our hotel. And since there was a lot of people there and a lot of other teams, we never thought there'd be a problem. But unfortunately, the next day we realized that our trailer was gone. Soto tells me the team then scrambled to rent a U-Haul to lug their equipment back home. And this week purchased a new trailer for their upcoming matches. Orchid Academy senior and business captain Haley Salas says the theft left them thousands of dollars in the hole. And I was thinking about how much money it could cost our team and how like detrimental it could be for like this season and like next year's competition because we are a nonprofit. This week, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office, Coast Hills Credit Union and the Santa Maria Rotary Club all pledged donations to the team, providing reassurance for robot captain Daniela Elenis as their new season continues. News. This team has meant a, a lot to me because it allowed me to find my path with what I was wanting to do. Elena says the 30 plus member Spartatronics team practices five days a week and is made up of students in their freshman through senior years. Most recently, they had six weeks to construct the Dioscuri, the team's robot for the 2024 season. Without this robotics team, I wouldn't have really have any clue of what I wanted to get into. So this team has really allowed me to explore the different fields in STEM. Elenis tells me thanks to her involvement on the team, this fall she'll be studying engineering at Cal Poly. Soto, meanwhile, adds that despite the donations they've already received, the team is seeking additional community support to cover their remaining expenses. Soto says Spartatronics will be hauling their new trailer out to their next competition on March 21st in Fresno. In Orchid, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News.